Hey, g'day folks. I'm up here and I'm talking about these two boots here. Former Adventure, former Terra Evo. And it's not a review about the best boots, but simply the comparison between the two. So, <clears throat> this is a low, obviously, and it's uh, six years old, so it's pretty worn in. So this is your former adventure boot, which is very, very, very flexible. So I'm doing this because, yeah, you're not going to find too many shops, particularly here in Adelaide, with both in there. So, you know, you can see. So there we go, like that. This one, oh, you can, it, you can't, it flexes from about here. So all that is pretty good. This, all this plastic stuff here does a pretty good job. Now, the other thing is, this way. I did see some videos where a couple of fellas, and one in particular, done his toes in there because of that flex. Bike fell on him, his foot went up, snap a -rooney. This one has some kind of, I can't remember the marketing, still bloody shank or something in there, I don't know. But, uh, oh, yeah, crocky jingos, you can't bend that fella. That's pretty good. So that's a massive improvement in that way. That way, what about forwards? Alright, look at this one. What is this like? Yeah, so it doesn't flex. <coughs> so that's not bad for an adventure boot. An adventure style boot, not MX. So really, yeah, if you're thinking about do you want the adventure, or maybe this Terra Evo Pro, but you can't see them in person, it might help just a little bit. Comfort wise, excellent. Pretty good. A bit heavier. Of course they're heavier because that's a low, but they are a bit heavier. Um, changing gears, no worries with these, piece of cake. Changing gears with these, I can get the foot under just, but I just find that I change on the side and I've got used to that and it's absolutely no worries. That's a size 44, in case anyone's curious. Anyway, they've done a thousand K now and the other thing I liked about these, is I can fit my adventure pants over the top and the liners inside them. And I do like wearing the liners opposed to uh, taking the liners out and just wearing thermals and whatnot. So, so far so good. Good support there and, you know, much more. All right, well, you know, if you're thinking about buying either of these two, you'll find these in shops pretty easy. They weren't as common. And I called up and uh, no one seemed to have them except one store here in Adelaide. And they have a good range of adventure stuff. That's it and bye for now folks.